So what are the sources of audits? As we've said, it could be uh, a sponsor, uh, NSF, or someone could come in, or their IG could come in. They could be looking at something going on. As you hear, sometimes you'll see uh, some of the publications that support our industry, um, that NSF, OIG is focusing on certain things and they're going in selecting institutions to go in and look at things. Effort was a big one they did, uh, and Vanderbilt actually had one of those. Um, uh, HHS OIG in the southeast region has been focusing on some uh, like clerical and administrative type cost at institutions. Can be an independent audit firm. Again, if you uh, have an A133, you're private, you probably have an independent audit firm coming in on an annual basis to do your A133. Um, if you're at a state school, you may, have, you may be working with your state auditors that uh, actually do that audit for you, an internal audit. And uh, let me emphasize, don't underestimate the importance of internal audits because they are really an opportunity as an institution for us to figure out what we might not be doing such a good job at before we have one of these more uh, external audits that can have more exposure to them. Uh, and that being said, when we have external auditors come in, they can look at those internal audit reports. So they are important. Uh, you want to make sure you treat them uh, with respect and that your responses and your uh, what you do as a result of them is taken care of so that it shows, yes, we've, we detected this, we found it out, and we took care of it. Uh, not that you just ignored it because it's worse not it's worse to have known and done nothing than to not know that you had a problem. And I, I will say at our institution, we have found over the years, it, is, it behooves us to have a very good working relationship with this group of people. You do not want it to be an adversarial relationship on campus. They can actually be um, really a, an important partner in sponsored programs and making sure that uh, your practices and, and processes are in line with the rules and regulations that your policy, when we write new policy, we help, we get internal audit to help vet, a, it, vet them with us. You know, do these make sense? Does this seem like it's going to do what we're trying to do? So uh, having a good relationship with them is definitely important. And to a certain degree, I, I would say the same thing is true for your A133 auditors. They're, they're in a different, slightly different category than when the OIG comes in or you've got a whistleblower audit or something like that. They are, yes, they, they are independent and they are coming in. They have a, a, a job to do and, and give you a, a good review. But they can also be someone that you collaborate with and talk about maybe things you could do better and, and stuff like that, just like with internal audit. And we do use our external auditors sometimes as a sounding board when we're thinking about things is because they have resources they have experts in their firm they can you know they have connections sometimes with the federal government and it's, it's kind of nice to get a second opinion about if we're thinking about changing something mm 